What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro tutorial. So it's been a little while since I've done an actual Vegas tutorial recently. I've been doing kind of computer and YouTube and Chrome tips and tricks kind of videos. Um, so today we're going to be back with the Vegas Pro videos. So I want to show you how to do voiceovers in this episode. Now, as you may know, when I do my videos, I actually record my voice through Audacity. Um, but it is entirely possible to actually record your voice straight through Vegas Pro when you need it. Let's say you've missed out a piece of information and you want to add it in. Let's say your entire video has been recorded prior and then you want to do the voiceover after. Um, anything along those lines, this can be easily done and it only takes a few little steps. Now, I've already set up a little bit of an edit here, just showing Kerbal Space Program, if you know that game, if you've played that game, it's a great game. Um, but we've got a little guy here on the ship, and then he takes off, and then all seems to go horribly wrong. He goes down, manages to escape in his parachute here, and then comes in for a landing at the end and plants his flag. So, I want to do a voiceover of this. Let's say I've been recording this as a video. I've been recording for a few hours. This is a little section I thought was quite good. And I want to uh, edit it and put it on. And I want to add some voiceover to it. So, the first thing I want to do. Um, this is not entirely necessary. But I'm just going to delete the actual audio from the gameplay. Because it's so quiet. I don't really need it at the moment. So, I'm just going to right click on that track. And click delete track. Now I will actually need a new audio track to do the recording on, so we're just going to right click in this blank area down here, we're going to click insert audio track. Once you've done that, click over to the three arrows over here where it says more, and then you want to choose on for record. And then what you select here, the location you select here is basically going to be the location that the voiceover is going to save to. So I'm just going to leave it in my documents for now. If you're going to be doing this quite a lot and you want to structure it, then that's fair enough. I would recommend doing that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it in my documents. But then I'm going to click OK. And now when I speak, you can see the bar moving. So yeah, you can see that moving, which pretty much means it's detecting the microphone. Um, you may also notice there's a little record button down at the bottom. So as soon as you click that, it's going to start recording your voice. Now, once you've recorded it, let's say there is some stuff which is slightly out of time, um, or just stuff you need to cut out once again, you can still edit the track. It's just going to come through as a normal audio track. So we're going to get into it, we're going to record this, and I'm going to pretend it's basically a little bit of a gameplay video. What is going on guys, so today we have got our little Kerbin Kerbal guy on a rocket here, we're going to send him up, see if we can get into space, so here we go, we've got the lift off, we're going to go as high as we can, we can see we've got a bit of drag on the rocket, and oh no, it appears we have flipped, what are we going to do, I have got no idea, and um, well luckily our little Kerbals have got a parachute, so let's just get our guy to jump out here, and now he's in a little free fall, we've got a parachute, we'll just give it a minute to deploy, and... Boom, there we go, we've now got a parachute, he's doing a nice drift down, let's see if we can land on top of this building over here. Um, got a nice little helipad in the distance, so let's get a bit closer, and then just try and slow down our speed. And if we get this just right, skadoink. There we go, so he did fall over in the end, but we have made it, he has survived, and I think we need to remember this moment by planting a flag. Nicely done. And then once you've recorded the video guys, or the audio, just click the record button again down here, and there you go, you are done. Now you can delete it if you want to start again, you can rename it, or you can just click done, which is what I'm going to do here. And then you can see we've got this nice audio track. Now I am going to cut off a little bit of a beginning here, just get rid of that because there's no sound in it. And then I'm also going to cut out the end because you can see this is where I won, <laughs> ended up coughing, and when I continued on talking to use. So we're going to cut this ending off here and there we go. There is one thing I'd like with this video, I'd like a little bit of a countdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the beginning part. We can see we've got a bit of... Just delete the beginning part here and I'm going to re-record the beginning and I'm going to do a countdown and if the countdown doesn't line up properly at first that's perfectly fine because I can just change it. What is that? Yep, I'm going to start again straight away because I can't speak apparently. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We've got a little guy in a rocket. Let's get straight into it. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. So let's stop that there. Now you can see we were a little bit out of time. So let's just cut off this little bit of ending here. 
So we want this blast off to align with when we actually take off, which is just using the arrow keys to move back and forth here. We can see the engines ignite there. So I'm going to have this align with that. Um, we can see there actually isn't enough room on the video. So what I'm going to do here is a quick little tip. I'm going to tap D twice and it'll set my mouse into selection mode. And I'm going to select all the clips. Just move them a little bit forward just so I have got a little bit more room to work with. And we'll see if that's aligned up nicely. So we will need to move it forward a little bit more here. And I'm going to extend the end. So let's play this from the beginning now. What is going on everybody? Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We've got a little guy in a rocket. Let's get straight into it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and blast off. We're going to go as high as we can. We can see we've got a bit of drag on the rocket. And oh no, it appears we have flipped. What are we going to do? I have got no idea. Um, well, luckily, our little Kerbals have got a parachute. So let's just get our guy to jump out here. And now he's in a little free fall. We've got a parachute. We'll just give it a minute to deploy. And boom, there we go. We've now got a parachute. He's doing a nice drift down. Let's see if we can land on top of this building over here. Um, got a nice little helipad in the distance. Let's get a bit closer and then just try and slow down our speed. And if we get this just right, skadoink. There we go. So he did fall over in the end, but we have made it. He has survived. And I think we need to remember this moment by planting a flag. Nicely done. Okay guys, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. I hope it did help. If it did help, please like, please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. And if there is any tutorials you would like to see, then just leave a comment down below because I'm happy to do them. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. So I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Goodbye.